Hi, this is Tom at uh, Tall Clover Farm, and right behind me is an IKEA cabinet. An IKEA cabinet that took me four hours to build, and I think chipped away a little bit of my sanity. So, I'm here to show you how to do it. I've got one more cabinet to build, and uh, I think I think with a little instruction, if you have somebody show you how to do it, it might be a little easier. Um, four hours seems like a long time, but I was not. Uh, well, I'm not stupid, but it was a bit of a process. So hopefully I can uh, help you make it a shorter process with a little tutorial on how to build an Ikea sh uh, shelf cabinet dresser and uh, asterisk remain sane. Okay. All right, you're looking at the Ikea cabinet I built. Just to give you an idea, handsome little guy. Uh, let's see what's it called. It's called Hermes. No, that's a scarf. Um, Her uh, Hemnes, I think. Hemnes is the style of cabinet. But basically, they all get kind of built the same way. So, um, I think if you can do one, you can do them all. Here is the box. That whole cabinet fits in here, and there is not an inch to spare after packing. That chest in that box. Okay, the first thing you want to do is open the box and you go, okay, and uh, you want to organize it. So find the instructions and take it to the next stage of sort of the staging area for each part of the dresser. I will explain. Okay, our next move, empty the box. All right. Oh, and that noise, that's not me. That's my dog. Hi, Gracie. What's going on? That's her breathing. She has a little bit of trouble breathing. There's the box, it is now empty. And what you wanna do is you wanna separate things in like items, you know? One of these things is not like the other. Okay, so you get the things that seem to be, you don't even have to know what they're for yet. Just sort of put them all together, like these orange sticks, these sticks with the holes in them, um, uh, or sticks, or these boards. There's the instruction. Here's another set of boards with no paint but slats. All the same in theory. These look to be the drawer fronts, best I can tell. And they're all together. And this, this is the treasure trove, no doubt. The ins the, uh, ins uh, the parts, the pieces, the, the bags of bolts, the things that you just look at and you go, what the heck is this about? Okay, I opened the magic brown box and this is what I found. These are drawer slides. They're all taped together. And these are the bags of bolts. Now, I have to thank Ikea because if this came in one bag, I would have just put it back in the box and taken it back. Because <laughs> it's too much stuff. So anyway, we've got bag one, they label it. Bag two and bag three, I'm assuming that's an order in which you use them. All right. On to assembly. All right, again, I have to give uh, Ikea a hand, uh, give him a little uh, credit here because there's no words, it's just pictures, and gosh knows it's better for people like me if it's just pictures. Um, it's just me. They suggest two. No. Don't use one. Use two. Uh, I'll be using one. Okay, you still with me here? So what they do is they basically tell you not to climb on it because you could hurt yourself. Okay, we got that. But basically they tell you bag one, what's in it. That's good. And they tell you what's in bag two and bag three. So don't concern yourself with it. It's just think of it as an overview. All right, then they go on to steps one, two. It's like a 20 page book, three, four, five. So think of it like you're building a house. Um, <laughs> you gotta start with the foundation before you put the roof on. You've gotta put the walls up before you put the window in. Uh, so that's kind of what it is, just step by step. So just breathe, have a cup of coffee, go to your happy place, because you can do this. We'll start with assembly next. Gracie's a little <laughs> bothered that I'm using her chair. Okay, here's tip one. When you're opening the bags, just start with the bag one. Don't bother with two and three, because they don't tell you to. They just say start with bag one. Empty it in something that will uh, keep everything together, like a cake pan. It's a great way to keep it all together. Next, you uh, lay the big slats, or the biggest piece of, uh, uh, the biggest boards in the package. And they're left one, left two, right two, right one. Those will be on the end of the uh, poles. And there's a top and a bottom. The bottom will have uh, little casters uh, that keep uh, from scratching your floor. That's how you know those are the bottom casters in question. 
so this is all on the floor. Those are the tops. Woot. These are the bottoms. And I went on the other side. I'll show you. They mark these R1, R2, L1, and L2, so you can get them in the right placement. It's a great little help. Okay, we're still on step one, and this is the Magic King pin. This is basically what holds everything together. And uh, you just place those in as sort of anchors, and then everything is attached to them. I tell you to put in the six of these on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. The other side, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you want to be gentle when you put these in. You can use an automatic, you can use a, a what is it, a cordless uh, screwdriver. You just have to be really careful because you can, it has to be in a really light setting. Or you can just do it by hand. They're easily uh, pre drilled and they go in easily. Next, you find the uh, big side panels. There are just two of them. One side is colored, and one side is the natural wood that's finished. And then you basically are just going to pop these little puppies inside. There's a hole over here, and put them all together. And I'll do that next. See, they just fit right in along the line. There are three of them on each side. And then you just pop them in. Then when you slide them to in, you have uh, basically the uh, the screw head shows up, and then you put another little piece in there, and it and it keeps it together. These little guys anchor the pins, and you can put them in before, but I recommend you don't because they're harder uh, to tighten. It's just easier if you do it this way. The pin is popped into the board, and you just put it in put it down and then you'll tighten it with a screwdriver. And again, the noise, not me, it's my snoring dog, uh, Gracie. She's a snorer. All right, page one done. You still with me? Okay, we're gonna move on to the uh, drawer glides. That's the next step. All right, we're moving on to the drawer glides and we wanna be sure to pay attention to L and R, left, Right, um, so let's open one up and take a look. Right. Let's move into the drawer glides. Here's the deal. The gray wheels, at least on mine, are for the center. They're for the actual, are for the cabinet. And then the ones with the white circles are for the drawer glides. It also has a little designation, DL. So drawer left, DR, drawer right, CL cabinet left, CR cabinet right. I won't tell you how long it took me to figure that out. So with drawer slides, I like to just separate them out. This is, these are uh, the drawer left. This is the drawer right. And these are the glides for the cabinet. Okay, you're now looking at the uh, each side, the left and the right, put together. Or I should say assembled, and uh, the tracks are all uh, screwed on with screws. Everything's provided. And now we move on to part two of putting this together. All right, here you are with the uh, pins, the last of the pins that screw into the the side that you'll put the next section together with. And there are six on the side, six on the other side. And then one on the end here, one on the end here. And the proof that I did this right, <laughs> uh, victory is mine, is that there are no doodads left in the cake tin pan. All right, I've now emptied the contents of bag two into the cake tin so we can keep organized, onward and upward. Next, you place wood, the wood dowels in all of the uh, holes next to the little pins. They'll act as a reinforcement. There you go, sorry, bad shot. Uh, for the little stanchions that stand up and uh, support the whole thing being put together. As we look to part six, there's one thing that will drive you crazy because you'll probably put it together and then you'll figure out you needed to know this. All of these 
pieces that are the orange slats that hold it together the same except one. You want to separate the one that has two holes on the bottom because it goes on the top. So just the one that looks like this, two holes, two holes, two holes. The rest of them only have the two holes that don't go through. So just this one, it goes on the top of the, the top of the cabinet. All right, the frame pieces are in place, and again, what's uh, sort of the general rule that will keep you um, from going too crazy is anything that you see is going to be finished. See, and on the back side where you wouldn't see that is that line. That's an unfinished piece. And uh, so this will be from the top, so you wouldn't see anything here. But on the bottom, you have where the screws go to tighten it. So, again, as a general rule, if uh, it's unsightly, then it's in a position where you won't see it. And then you just put these little hoo-hahs in. This is on the outside where the screwdriver can fit nicely. You push that into it. It's a hat, like a crescent moon, so it fits over the head, and then you just turn it and it tightens it. And that happens right down there. This is the part where the instructions probably that's why they told you to have two people, because it's easier. But I'm basically just going to take this, I turn it over, and then I'm going to place each of those on that, and then I'll tighten them. I put it together. It was a little awkward. Thus, the instructions were right. <laughs> and now I'll just put in the remainder of these uh, little lock bolts. See, if they don't fit, you just turn them until they hit the right part of the crescent and they pop right in. Alright, I turned it right side up. It's looking pretty good. We've got the uh, shell of the cabinet. It's sturdy, surprisingly, for the amount of... for the lack of wood. <laughs> but it is very sturdy. And next we'll put on the top. Here I have the top of the cabinet upside down. What's nice about these IKEA things, these uh, IKEA kits, these screws only fit in the hole that's in front of them, and the dowels have a hole that's bigger, so they only fit in those. And you just tap. <laughs> Camera work and hammering, not such a good combo. Just tap them down. So really the only thing you need are a Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer to tap these down. And again, what's nice is uh, the you can't turn, put it on backwards. The holes fit a particular way and it has to go on right uh, or it won't fit. So that's a good feature. And again, the top you kind of have to bang down a bit just to sort of coax it into the, all the little holes and the pegs. And then again, you just need to tighten the top, put in those uh, little screws there are little lock lock screws on each side and then just tighten those and the top is definitely on. Oh, not so fast. I just realized I have to put the back on the stand and also these two screws here have a place. Next step is to put the back on. Use the masonite board that comes with it. It's sort of flimsy and but it does the job. All right, you slide it so it is even. All the way around, goes up in here, there's a, there's a lip, it goes under the lip, and it fits flush all the way around. And then you'll just nail this together. Or not nail it together, but nail it on there to stay. One, two, three, four, and you can nail it one, two, three on the bottom, and then all up and down the sides but not up here. You don't nail it up there. There's not anything to nail it to. And then you nail it down there. I pretty much just start with a in the middle, and then in the middle of that, in the middle of that, and then in the middle of that. So it just sort of creates a, probably every six inches there's a nail. Just to, because uh, I think it structurally holds a little bit. Oh, and my apologies for not pointing this out sooner, but you really should do all this on a, a rug. Uh, it'll protect all the pieces from getting damaged uh, from a hard surface. So, like uh, if you can put a blanket down on the floor if you have a hardwood or a, or a hard surface, it, it really helps. If you have a rug, do it on a rug. The cabinet unit is complete. 
The dogs are excited about that. Now we move on to the drawers. Boom, 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 boom. The drawers. This is all that's left of bag, uh, bag two. Or a few of the nails. I didn't use the nail, all the nails on the back because they give you a gazillion. Uh, this is the tool that tightens down the top. And this is just basically a strap once you're through that you should hook it to the wall so um, it, a, ki a kid, a kid, a child cannot uh, pull it over or uh, someone who's um, not familiar with gravity. So anyway, that's what that is. A strap, strap to the wall, strap to the chest. It won't tip over. And now we'll move on to the drawers. All right, now we're on to the drawers. We've come a long way. We've got the cabinet built, and now we're going to put together um, basically just a bunch of um, planks uh, with some little attached thread things, and we'll have drawers, and we'll have a cabinet, and we'll be ready to fill it up with stuff we really don't need. Okay, on to the drawers. Behold the contents of bag three. See, it really does work if you keep them separate. You have your bag one, your bag two, and your bag three. So we've down two, here's our last one. Basically it has things that hold the drawers together and the knobs for the drawers. As you may recall, I put together all the like uh, slats or planks in the uh, box. Uh, when they came out of the box, I put them together like all the raw wood ones with the slit here and all the colored faces of the drawers. Um, all the sides, which I'm assuming are the sides, together. And uh, that way it's really easy. You can kind of figure out there are five drawers and it's pretty easy to figure out uh, which part is which. So you start with the face. These are the sides. And I'm looking for similar widths. And so this is a similar width. That's the back. All right, we shall put it together. All right, we put the fancy screws in uh, the face, uh, face board, and then with the, hole, the big holes on the outside, you put in the side boards, the side panels, and you want to make sure they're on the outside with these little holes, because these little screw holes are going to be your track, uh, where the screws for the track go. And next you put in the bottom panel. This is what everything sits on. Got to hand it to Ikea. They have this sharp looking, uh, looks like it's lined already, uh, back. And you just put it in the slit down there and you put it there and then the top will lock it in. So I just pop the back board of the drawer over that uh, panel that acts as the bottom of the drawer. And then I put in these plastic screws in here and in here. And again, uh, here's a drawer. They switch things up on us a little bit. In the ends of the drawer, you use these little plastic uh, bolts, I guess, and you hammer them in. And they, there's the tension from the, the teeth on them keeps it in place. And it does a really nice job. And then down here, though, you have those uh, little heads that you put in and then turn to lock into the drawer. At this point, you may be thinking, now uh, this thing's going to slide out while you're using it, but nope. When you put the track on the side here, it locks it into place. So you won't have this happening anymore once that is uh, put in place, the track for the drawer that makes it glide. What's nice about the track, and again, the snoring is my dog, that's not me. <laughs> Um, the track, what's great about the track is you really can't put it on the wrong side because it needs to go under and that and then the two holes fit nicely and then uh, these, uh, there's nothing that goes in here. You could probably put something in there, but you don't really need to. You just bolt these down, boom, boom, done, and do the other side. And uh, the screw for that is relatively small. It's just a really tiny, probably a, uh, gosh, an eighth of an inch or maybe a quarter of an inch long. Now it's kind of a no-brainer. You just uh, put the screw that comes in the package on the back side, push it through, and then just uh, hold it with the screwdriver and then just turn it until it gets tight. And there's your knob. And now here's the completed drawer. Knob, face, the bottom, the sides, the back, mm -hmm. 
and let's put her in the drawer. Whoops. And this is how you put the drawer in. You just basically bring it in even. I just lift it up a little, tilt it up to get the wheels over each other, and then boom, done. Voila. Building uh, the rest of the drawers is pretty much exactly the same. There's only one difference in the larger faced drawers, that is the wider uh, fronts. Uh, they'll have two pegs you put in, two dowels to add extra strength to the door, uh, to the front of the uh, drawer. So when you're slamming things around, uh, it'll stay put. It won't fall apart. I'm sure that's the only reason they do it. A little more strength, four instead of two, but everything else is the same. Well, the drawers are completed. They're in the cabinet and the tracks work. The dogs are excited as well. Yes. The big job is done. Hey Gracie, what's up? Oh, get your toy? Bad guys, I don't care about toys. All right, I hope that was of some benefit to you. Um, it took me about two hours to do, maybe more, but I'll just say two. The first one took four. It's a, it's a learning curve. So if I had to give you any advice in general, I would say read the directions. Ikea's directions are really good. Um, they're just extensive and it just takes a while and be patient and chip away at it and do section by section, do the cabinet and the drawers and uh, try to contain all of your gadgetry they give you uh, so you don't lose any. And uh, that's all, just be patient, because it will take a while. Bang your head on the wall if you need to, call a friend if you need to, but other than that, uh, you can handle it. I know you can. All right, take care.